This is a diving helmet. I know. Random. Um, anyway. This video is very loud. Um, it's got lots of bass, lots of high shrieking noises. Um, if you have headphones, please turn them down. Uh, there's banging, clanging. Just trust me. Just If you have headphones or you've got the volume on loud, just please, you have been warned. Okay. And uh, yes, dive a helmet. Love it. Hello everyone, uh, it's me again, we're back at P1 or P Nung's shop, RX-8 is uh, back, um, just just for some minor tweaks, so we got new rear tyres going on, um, because the ones I have, they, they're great, but I've got over 400 wheel horsepower, so need something a bit stickier, so some stickier rear tyres are going on, um, the exhaust is way too loud. <laughs> um, it, though it does sound great, it, it's, it's just too much for daily driving. So, putting a slightly quieter one on, um, and then just uh, a few little tweaks to the idle uh, and the throttle cable. And uh, that's it. Um, I'm also doing something very boring. Uh, the registration uh, is getting sorted today. It's very complicated getting things registered over here. Um, I don't know why. Just, just the way it is. Um, to my left, there is a lovely, lovely Supra. There we go. Lovely and white. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, Japanese import, as they all are here in Thailand. Got a few little extras, AP Racing, Michelin tyres, um, what are they, raised wheels, yep, raised wheels, very nice, very clean, they're here, there's P1, what's he showing me, oh, they're here, yellow, <laughs> yellow, yellow, okay, yellow. so what is, gone. You're on camera. What does yellow mean? Yellow is mean a uh, soft compound. So this is a softer compound? Yeah. They have three compounds like hard, yep. medium, and soft. Okay. Yeah. And but so this is a soft one? Yeah. But every tire is the same. They put the tire on, on the side of the tire. Yeah. 220 are the same. It's naughty. There's two, isn't there? So here we go. 220. Yeah. All the same. but. We will know on the color on, on, on the top. Here. Okay, because you said there was a 180 as well. Yeah. So what's the 180? Is 180 that... is mean the trade wear, the real one. Okay. Yeah. So so the 180 and the 220, which, which is better? Which is better? One, 180. Okay, so I don't have a 180. No, this one 180. Oh, but even though it's printed... Every, every tire put 220 because because oh, when, okay. when, when they bring from other country to Thailand, yeah. if they put 180, they have to pay tax more. Ah. And so the only way you know is by the color. Yes. See, it's good to know this guy. <laughs> 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 so just in case no one does, you, you have a race team, drift team, yeah, don't you? So okay. you're a professional driver. Yeah. And so you you buy tires all yeah. the time. And yeah. so you've, you've used every tire there is, right? Yeah. And in your opinion, for racing and for street use what do you rate the Achilles 123 how do you rate it compared to expensive tires and cheap tires where do you put it cheap tire but it's the same r1r you know the grip is the same one it's okay r1r same really yeah that's, but that's if you high price r1r you have to pay away oh yeah it's expensive tire yeah so let's say uh michelin p4 no that one is not grip really yeah, that, that makes sense. I crashed my M2 <laughs> with the P4. <laughs> no grip. Michelin is not grip, you know. It's just a normal tire. You but know? that's so weird because you're in the West. We put the Michelin as the number one tire. Yeah. But in Thailand, everyone says the Michelin's no good. Yeah. Is it because your road and your temperature's different? Or maybe that. Yeah? Yeah, maybe that. Makes sense, I guess. Yeah, yeah your, your, your tarmac is very different. Yeah. To, to ours, it's it's either harder, yeah, it's harder. Um, even though it's hot, 
your 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 you know your floor yeah. it's 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 harder yeah. it's not soft yeah. so maybe that's why I, I i don't know so you need a softer yeah, I, tire I think like that makes because sense thai, thai, thai weather is very hot yeah 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 which is nice <laughs> you're still working on this still <laughs> Don't get me started. If, if it's an import, everything is delayed. So E46 with a 2JZ. Pretty crazy. Okay, Pin Young said to uh, touch my tyre. So here I am. I mean, it's, it's a medium. Medium. I'm go over here. Hello, Supra. Hello, crazy E46. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> That's his daughter. Okay, so you touch this. Oh my god, that that is soft. So soft. It's like a, it is like a race tire. I mean, technically, it is a race tire. Oh yeah. Hopefully, that will sort out the sideways overtaking. Um, I didn't record it, but we were just talking, talking about the car. And uh, in the pre in the video where you saw it on Dino where it made 350 wheel, that's not full throttle. You couldn't do full throttle. Absolutely convinced we're making 400 wheel. Um, I'm convinced too. Uh, it feels insanely fast and no lag. It's 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 so crazy to drive. I've it's it's better than the M2 competition. That is. Um, very impressed. Oh, thank you very much. He's always giving me water. <laughs> you have your mask on <laughs> he's just doing the exhaust and my tires are here nothing just straight through lovely beautifully done but oh, still a wee bit too loud that's the gruddy gruddy pull overs everything's beautifully done look at that that's for the fuel tank to P Nyang or P1 and um, because this is so free-flowing he's saying it's actually losing power because of it uh, so we go over here 
and these are the jaw mufflers that are going on and even though these are jaw mufflers and I don't know if you can pick that up go on focus oh, it's hard to focus on that yeah that'll do even though it's got the mesh inside um, he says that's still too free flowing so if you look here There's a sleeve inside. Half of it's filled with a metal sleeve, a metal pipe. Um, I don't have another one to show you. Which will uh, be a little bit more restrictive. And he says it needs it. And by adding that, the car will actually be faster because there's a bit more back pressure. Um, I know everyone says you want as free flowing as possible. Uh, he's saying it's too free flowing. And, um, it will be even faster and even quieter than it was so win win hopefully so yeah so here it is all cut up and ready to go on they're on a lunch break at the moment it is ta -da, yeah quarter past one and um i'll try and film them putting it on so that completely completely <laughs> I've been recording in mono with the uh, lapel or label or whatever you call it, the microphone I was using. So I've unplugged it and now I'm using the internal microphone. Um, so apologies if the footage before this sounds like rubbish. Um, my, my bad, sorry. I uh, won't use that microphone ever again. So while well, they get on with that, I thought I'd show you around. See, here's my car up here, blah, blah, blah. Here we have a 13B uh, twin turbo. Uh, not from this car, not from the RX-8, it's from the RX-7. Um, it's been taken out because, well, have a guess. Yes, it's broken. Um, they all seem to break. It's just one of those things. They require so much maintenance. Bit of a nightmare now. I think it's having it rebuilt, um, but personally, I'd probably put a JZ in there. Yeah, anywho. Uh, we go around here, Supra that I mentioned before. We have this gorgeous S15. And uh, it's using a SR20 with the Neo head, which was used in the NA version of the SR20. Um, so I believe, yeah, it's like a VTEC. But also it's a turbo engine at the same time. With the lovely Garrett there. HKS as well, GT. Lovely. Lovely turbo, uh, beautiful titanium pipework, nice uh, wide body. I think, I think that's a rocket bunny. You tell me, is it? I'm not too caught up with the whole rocket bunny thing, I'm not a fan of the whole riveted or drilled in fender. I prefer the smooth look a la BMW, but um, you know, each their own, but it is a beautiful car. I, I think the S15 is the most gorgeous of all the Sylvias. Um, and this is a genuine S15, and uh, I don't know what it is, LPG? God knows. A little bit dirty, but that's a serious bit of kit. I mean, look at the fuel rail here. Um, those coils are big money, MSDs, I think. Big money coils. Probably putting down some serious, serious power. I shouldn't be showing that. There we go. Genuine S15. Though it does look like it's kind of been taken off and put on. Thailand's a little bit dodgy like that. Um, e46 mentioned before belongs to a foreigner. Um, it's his first car here in Thailand. He bought it like this with a 2JZ. I believe the turbo was way too big, like a thousand horsepower turbo, it was undrivable. So he's using Ichiban Engineering, who I use for mine, to put a smaller turbo on to make it more drivable, more usable. Um, but due to the whole COVID-19, or Wu flu, whatever you want to call it, um, all the parts that have been imported in are delayed. 
um, it's, it's such a pain, such a pain in the backside because um, everything imported at the moment from overseas is just stuck. Nothing's been flown into Thailand. All, all flights and stuff are cancelled. I ordered some uh, Nike Jordans and, uh, last month and they disappeared and Nike can't help. Nike can't help. I've been calling them, emailing them. They're no help whatsoever. They're saying, oh, they're just delayed. It's almost a month now. They're absolutely outraged. They don't know what's going on. Useless. And here we have many, many engines and uh, I'm sure you can recognize a few. Yes, looks like a 2J. Um, in fact, if you look everywhere, cover kind of four cylinders, but there are 2Js everywhere. And a seriously beefed up gearbox. Like another 2J. Lots of 2Js in this still. And there's my one, 1J, one uh, another 2J, uh, that's a single cam Nissan of some kind, lots of gearboxes, mostly automatics, a few manuals. Yeah, that's where we are.
let's get back to the car. Long day today. Ah, oh, my back wheels are gone. Yeah, standard, standard brakes. But yeah, they're, they're in good condition. And look at the welding. Oh, looking good. Looking very good. Looking very clean. I like it. Sticking these bad boys on. The softest ones they do to replace. The hardest ones they do. And fingers crossed that will solve the uh, sideways overtaking. This should be quieter, but still sound good.